all of us come all the way from West Virginia. West Virginia. That's not that far <laughs> to the seminar here. And I understand he's got some interesting stuff, and that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to grill him here, so here we go. I feel that you've got something interesting to tell me that you've just been busting at the gut to tell me. What is it? Uh, do you like Hemi heads? Oh, sure I do. No, what I've got is Chevy hemispherical heads, a true Hemi head that adapts to the really, big block Chevy. Really, really, really. He's got some very interesting stuff. He's come to my seminar for two reasons. One, because he can show us some things that we would like to learn about. And two, is there any motion for development? Right? Yes, there's always room for development. That's why I come here. Tell us a, bit, a little bit about your background. I'm oh, a machinist for around 50 years. Yeah. I did R&D for Johnson & Johnson and a few other people. Yeah. And uh, I retired and now I want to do high performance heads. Right. And you really stuck your neck out from what I gather. Yes, I did. <laughs> right. Good. Um, so, so let's go on and, 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 and you tell us about it. Have you got a demo model? Yes, I do. Great. Let's see it. Okay. Dave, this is what I'm trying to produce here and manufacture. It's a true Hemi head for the Chevy. Big block. Right. It's the only true hemispherical head for a Chevy that I know of. And it's a bolt right on deal. It's a bolt tell, on deal. Tell us about this rocker setup. Is this is the rocker arm set up for a two push rod. The original ones were a three. This is all cast investment, kind of top of the line stuff. And what I'm trying to produce is a kit that will go on almost any big block Chevy with a standard bore spacing. Right. But, well, let's put that back there for the moment because I'm really interested in, in this. this Basically, this is a semi-machine casting, right, Bob? Right. And so this is we first can see stage the and all that. So this is rough machine now, ready to be CNC ported, or for custom ports to be finished by a head porter. Am I right? Correct. Right. So not only have you got working ports, but you, there's plenty of scope there for the for the professional porter who thinks he's got something that's going to need different to what you're producing to be able to produce it on this correct so it's very versatile with what you can do correct there. well that's good right so street marine yeah tractor pulling yeah racing all flies right. racing and, and i can see from this it's a very robust casting right this is not the lightest casting in the world no. i would think that the limitation on nitrous or supercharging here would be the strength of the bolts to the block and I know this happens to be a solid head, yeah. so you could do all of that right without. And there is a water jacket to head as well. Water jacket to head right. as well. Okay. That's what we sell the most of. Well, that's good. Paul, could you tell me a little bit about the history of this cylinder head? I think I know some of its background, but fill us in. A few decades back, this was developed, designed, engineered, and uh, invented by Nick Arias Jr. Various well, pistons. Hey, that company had a pretty good reputation. So that's a good start. Where are you going to go with it from here? I mean, you've got a lot of money invested in this, right? Yes, sir. The development they did stopped when I bought it. Yep. Now I'm here for future development and be on top of things at the present moment because things change. Right. Are you finding that coming to the seminar is giving you any ideas? Yes, it's helped me a lot. There's a few questions Good. I asked you that you came up with an answer that saved me a lot of money. Good. I'll tell you what, seeing the quality of work you've done here, I am very anxious to see this come into action with all the latest mods on it because it is looking like there's a lot of potential that can be tapped into, right? In essence, this has a lot of what the new Chrysler Hemi engine has got 
that it's built into this, but it hasn't gone that far because this is decades old and the Chrysler Hemi is this century design and it was it was designed very well. So if we get the potential that you're hoping for out of this head, it's going to be a winner. It should take the big block Chevy to a different level. Exactly, right. When can I have mine? <laughs> Uh, you want that one? <laughs> uh, a bit too much work for me to do on it at the moment. I've got about two years working in house, right? But hey, I, I really want to follow what you're doing on here. We're going to get I, together. I, yeah, I believe I need this, to learn has got, more. this has got a lot of potential, right? I'm really excited about it. Does it show I'm excited about this, guys? Right. Well, Bob, thanks for attending my seminar here. It's been fun having you.